Hi guys, so today I'm working on a DIY project. I'm going to update some foam pumpkins. I'm sure you've seen these pumpkins at dollar stores. I picked up mine at Dollar Tree. But today I'm going to update them to more of a farmhouse style look and something that I would enjoy decorating with in my home. So let's get to it. First thing I'm doing is removing the stem. It's just put on with a toothpick with a little bit of glue so it's pretty easy to take off. And I don't want to use that so I'm removing that as well as the tag. And then I will get started with some white acrylic paint. I'm just going to paint a light layer over the pumpkin. And I'm not trying to cover the entire thing with paint. I'm just doing a really quick light layer because I do want the orange to show through. Now that the paint's on, I'm just using a dry rag and I'm going to go around the pumpkin and wipe it down. I just kind of want to smooth out some of the brush strokes as well as wipe off a little bit more of the paint. It just gives it a nice overall finish. I'm doing I chose to use a cinnamon stick for my stem so I'm going to poke it into the foam where I removed the other stem and I want it to sit at an angle so that is how I will be hot gluing this on I will just hold it into place at an angle while the glue set If you follow me you probably saw this coming but I am going to tie a buffalo tag ribbon around the stem of my pumpkin. I'm using wired ribbon and I'm just going to tie a simple bow. I will zhuzh it up a little bit and then I will cut the tail ends off at an angle. And if you're new to my channel and enjoy budget friendly DIY lifestyle and home content I would love it if you hit the subscribe button and hung around or if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or check out my blog I will have those links in the description below as well. Instead of cutting the ends at a simple angle, I decided to go ahead and cut them in a V shape. So to do this, I just fold the ends in half and just cut downward. And it gives it a nice finished look. I am loving how this project turned out. In fact, I would like to go get some more so that I can make more of these up and put them in other areas of our home as well. And here's another quick look at the before. And here is the after. And then a few shots of it in decorative areas around the house. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And thanks for watching.